or 6-3 is massive. Ma massive, this is almost, frame. massive they're frame. almost playing for two frames, this next one coming up. Well, it'll be interesting to see how this final frame of this session unfolds as we rejoin Neil and Phil. Thank you, the final frame of this session. Judd Trump to break. This is the attraction of modern snooker. Since the interval, we've had four frames and they've taken in total 38 minutes. Yes, I know that uh, it wouldn't be on everybody's mind, but it, actually players will appreciate a little gap between sessions. Because the odd final, which have featured slow players, whose names we don't have to divulge at this moment, you know, sometimes they just get time to sit down for half an hour, maybe have a change of clothes and restart, but these two guys will have some rest before we resume. And what we must say now is that this frame is without doubt the most crucial of the match so far. Well, what is that? What sort of shot was that? It's just pushed the red near to the pocket. Shot. I know that he didn't play what he got, but it's hard to see exactly what could have happened. Red was quite close to the cushion to be trying to chip it away from there. Well, I'm guessing he tried to hit further to the left, Eight. but that's a dreadful shot. I think the nice. worst thing about it was it was a nothing shot that went wrong. If you try something positive and you fail, at least you've had a go. Sixteen. Seventy. Twenty five. Well, well, well. He, uh, he tried to screw back a lot further than that. There's a plant here, which if he gets it, takes him up onto a lower value colour than black. I don't know what he played, if he played on the plant. The, the other red he's also playing now, in fact. <laughs> Plants on still for later. Oh, that'll do him. 33. He's had worse kisses than that. When he needs to pot a ball colour to a middle pocket, I don't think I've ever seen seven. anyone better than Trump. <coughs> well, he's got the plant up his sleeve if he wants to wait one and play on a different value colour, or maybe consider a pile drive it in now and open up other reds. There is options. Thirty-eight. Well, if the plant is on, he wouldn't necessarily want to go into the bunch. Oh, 
Well, that's worked out very well. Forty-four. And they can always play on that red below the black on the left as we look from that camera angle, but. I think that's very much his last option. Back on the plant, back to that one. Fifty one. Fifty two. That's a very fine shot indeed. That really is good from where he was on a table that's not the quickest to judge that shot well. And that's also very good. When he was 5-2 down and Fu was 59. in total command, I think Trump was in a pretty dark place. But out of darkness is coming light. It's feel like that we were down to do frames 5-9 five to nine here. It feels like we just sat down, doesn't it? And it's almost over this session. It's been tremendous. Very contrasting because how he started the session and how he's finishing, he's 203 points without reply. Marco, he missed a red with the rest at the start of the previous frame. And the rest handily was struggling to put in a place. That didn't touch a different ball or colour. He looked very uncomfortable on the shot, having looked comfortable for three frames in a row. And it's a real seesaw match. Well, this frame is under lock and key. Just a matter of whether Trump can finish off with back-to-back -back centuries. Finish off the afternoon, that is. And although he will trail going into the evening session, after these last couple of frames, he'll be feeling so much better. A radical improvement in spirits. And we've seen in the last couple of frames just why Judd Trump is so 82. highly regarded. A phenomenal talent. So a very good shot. 90. The two reds should be just moved out slightly here. Very nicely 91. done indeed. Well, what a tremendous comeback. <laughs> Fabulous. <laughs> Table just getting the better of him, having the last laugh maybe. 98. End of the session, unless he can pull out another good shot here. Back-to-back centuries, Phil, and that 
Didn't seem very likely about 25 minutes ago, did it? It's come from nothing. 105. We've been treated to Bristol brilliant. I mean, if he doesn't win a world title in his career, it'll be a, a travesty in the same way it was that Jimmy White has never won one, having been in six finals. It could be this year, though. He's got a great chance of becoming world champion. And He's still got time on his side. Well, like White, he always seems to bedazzle the crowd when it comes to knocking in exhibition shots on the colours. Let's hope the green is rattled home. Oh. Only 115 this time. The match transformed in a trice. Marco Fu still in front, but what a comeback late afternoon by Jutra.